Okay, so Phantom Knight is a deck, you know what I'm saying? I don't think no one really sees anymore. Um, it was really popular at the beginning of the game, but not so much now. Um, a lot of stuff has kind of taken its place, and uh, I feel like the people that still run this only run it with uh, like other engines. I know PK Fire is pretty popular, which is basically just uh, a bigger or burning of this engine. I know there's people that use uh, Adventure PK, that's a really popular one. And the more toxic versions, like uh, Scythe. But, you know, me personally, I find the deck more fun when you're just using it pure. I really like the artwork on these cards. I just think the name Phantom Knight is lit. You know what I'm saying? I really like um, Dark Rebellion. This is the best um, This is the best Dimension Dragon from Arc 5. Um, you know what? Comment down below which one's your favorite, yeah? Um, I'll accept Dark Rebellion, obviously. Starving Venom is cool. Clearwing, it's all right. Uh, Odd Eyes, you're blocked, so yeah. There's pretty much two boss monsters in this deck. We've got um, Dark Requiem and Arc Rebellion. Arc Rebellion is basically just a game ender. Uh, it will just get big and then just swing the game. Dark Requiem is basically just uh, you get three negates, three monster negates per turn, which is insane. <laughs> so yeah, the only issue with this, um, if you don't summon it with uh, Dark Rebellion, it gets no effects. So no matter what, make sure that you summon it with this. Um, Arc Rebellion does not have that same problem, so you can summon that way easier. Yeah, we only play one rank up because, uh, yeah, you can pretty much search for everything in this deck, so when it comes to things like the rank up spell, you don't really need more than one, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna let, I've already played all the games, but obviously this is gonna go at the beginning of the video, so. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitch, I'm live every weekend, that's pretty much where all these videos get made. And uh, yeah, check out my Twitter with that good stuff. And uh, yeah, enjoy the games. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this, okay, we're gonna cut it close. We are cutting it close with this one. Okay, as long as I don't hit CR. Wait, pretty much. Wait, oh god, hold on. Let me make sure of this. Real unfortunate hand we got. Send gloves. Hit Sia. Hit Sia. Thank you. Yo, is it me or has I been? <laughs> I've been getting really good luck on that uh, today, haven't I? Oh, another. Okay, now Sia effect. Target graph. There we go. This is the closest you're ever going to get to see me playing Burning Abyss. I am not playing that Bullfast deck. Alright, there we go. Okay. Send skill. Um, then what? Uh, I want to set up for Dark Requiem. Alright, we'll send our royal cloak. Sorry, my bad. Royal, you know what I'm saying? I ain't like you brokies, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Let's chill out. <laughs> uh, please sub. <laughs> Get rid of the Suchinoko there. And then, I think we can actually, um... We could... Okay, we've already got the rank up. We could go for Greaves or just Boots. I'll go Greaves just in case. And then we got the Suchinoko effect here. Okay. Grab this. Okay. okay, for a minute I got worried because I thought that I couldn't make, um, I thought that I couldn't make Arc, I keep saying Arc Rebellion, it's Dark Requiem. All these cards sound really familiar. Uh, they, all these cards sound really, uh, fuck. <laughs> all 
all of these cards sound really familiar. So, yeah. I keep stumbling over my words trying to say them. I'm trying to go for Dark Requiem right now. Uh, this doesn't matter too much. They rank these up into Utopia. Oh wait, that was on B. Wait, <laughs> yo, why was that on the B show? Wait, that was hard. <laughs> I'm in the next to Bardish's Link in order to activate its effect. We use Bardish's effect to pop the Phantom Knight. And we activate this. B material for Dark Requiem. This card doesn't actually do anything. It's still a good generic card though. Okay. So we have a quick effect rank up into Dark Requiem, which is three negates. This is an Omni, uh, not an Omni negate, sorry. Uh, monster negate and steel. Uh, Fog Blade is a monster negate, and we got the quick play rank up to dodge anything that might target Dark Re uh, Rebellion. Okay, we're gonna ash this because I believe this is a once per turn effect, please. Okay, we'll just rank up here. Oh, we'll just win. <laughs> okay, I would have gone um, Arc Rebellion there and then just swing the game, but yeah, pretty much won. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the most hand ever, I ain't gonna lie. You know what? It's playable though. Uh, okay. Wait, what did... <laughs> what did... <laughs> No, wait, no way, right? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Days. All right, Ooh, wait, wait. The Terra Top. Hold on. All right, we we'll activate this, bro. Konami. Surely we can get this to two now, right? So I feel like this is the same problem that uh, plagued the Predator Plant Scorpio, or whatever. Where they were like, okay, the special summon's too crazy or whatever, like, enables too much. Let's limit it to one. I don't think it's that bad, man. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, we'll get Cherubini out. The thing, whenever you get Graf in your hand, uh, you pretty much just wait until you summon Cherubini in order to summon it. It's the, the easiest solution, pretty much. Send you. We send gloves. Then we'll normal summon tool guide. I brick too hard. Right. You don't want to brick in Phantom Knight's presence, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably it. Wow! One in three chance and it hit the Jackalope. Oh my, this game sucks. <laughs> Bro, anything to do with RNG, anything luck-based where it's not skill, I, I fail. Like, <laughs> oh my lord. If you're a lucky human being, play Dangerous or just anything that uses them. Oh my lord. Okay, we'll get Bardish out. Then we'll do this. Alright, we activate Bardish here. And scales. And... We will set. And then I guess we'll just go into um, some preemptive exceeds here. Okay, nice. Activate body's effect. 
Wait, what was that? Revived Sky God? Oh my. Oh, I really wish that I let you rock. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, I wish I let him cook. Bro, that card is so much fun. So, like, <laughs> it's so crazy that Break Sword is a once per turn, bro. That is genuinely so insane to me. It was good, Bread Knight. When the loaf is gaming. Indeed. You. Grab you. Yeah, we're only summoning this for the extra attack. Pretty much going blind OTK right now. Time to see the biggest number you ever see in your life. Yeah, 9,100. Yeah, yeah. You, you peaked too early. <laughs> that's interesting. That's a, that's a little bad, but oh well, who cares? GG's. That's small. Yeah, not gonna lie, I can't do maths very well. Anyways. <laughs> well, that's it. That's pretty much it for PK. Um, did it fall off? Yeah. Is it still fun? Yeah. Should you play it? Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I know this isn't the best version that I played, but you know, get off me. I don't like all the extra stuff. I like playing this deck pure. So yeah.